speaking of that bond, we are incredibly excited to show you that bond in action. Yes! Yes! Wow. It's time? Is it time? In motion. We have an exclusive preview of the animated prologue from Studio Is it not Big the X. full thing? Is it not the full thing? Please enjoy. Dang it. Oh, God! Chat, chat! You made me the ultimate life form. Oh, I should be the key oh, to all chat. manner of medicines. Curing you. You and Grandfather are doing your best. I'm just as happy to spend time with you here while you both research. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! This is what I want! What? Jim! What? Wait, what? Ah, Jim! I'll handle this. Just wait here. I'll be back. I promise. Bro, this is amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, please. No! Give me more! Give me more! Give me more! Give me more! No! Come on, man! Give me more! You gotta give me more than that! You gotta give me more than that! You gotta give me more than that! No! Emerald was there? Three episodes? Dude, this looks so good. Again, chat, this is what I've been wanting from the Sonic series for so freaking long, dude. This is what I've been wanting. Like, I've been wanting them to continue this formula, this this narrative storytelling for so long. And now they're like they're fine like they're continuing it. And this is all this is why I wanted for so long, chat. Like we're finally getting well, I've been wanting a more mature delivery of the Sonic series and its narrative. This is what I want. I want a more I this is why I've been I've been wanting a more serious tone. I have been wanting so much out of this. And Emerald and Emerald Emerald coming back! Bro, how is Emerald gonna play in this? How is, so we all know Gerald created Emerald, but I think we pretty much, yeah, I think pretty much it's the standpoint in the lore, right? At this point, Emerald's a playable character. Emerald's a player. Emerald's a playable character. It's over, chat. It's over. It's so over. It might be Emerald. Yeah, it's the. It's gotta be Emerald, dude. I'm so, dude. And the fact, the, the thing is though, how is Emerald gonna play in the story too? Because when you think about it, Emerald, this might be like Emerald's basically his his backstory prior. To it's basically Emerald's backstory prior to Sonic Battles, essentially. It's basically what it's gonna be. Dude, I this is what I've been wanting for so long, chat. Like the the tone, the emotion, the the amount of like seriousness in the in the cinematic direction. This is what I've been wanting. So basically, one of the episodes is gonna be this. It's gonna be about on the arc, Jerry Robotnik, um, and Emria. One of them is possibly gonna be Rouge and and Omega. So Team Dark. That's probably one of the other episodes. I don't know what the other one of the other episodes could be, but I know it's gonna be one of those two episodes. Could be two of the episodes are gonna be. I already have an idea for what, the, what two of the episodes are probably gonna be. One of them's gonna be obviously this on the arc. Maria arc is shut down, and then one is gonna be Team Dark. I'm guessing. It's just, it's just predictions though. So we saw Rouge and Omega in the poster. There's obviously gonna be some serious moments here between Maria and Shadow, and this is why I've been, this is why I've been wanting to see more, more serious moments like in Sonic for Tears, how they delivered the story in that one, how they handled it. That's why I want to see more of in the Sonic franchise and treating its fans more like adults. And I even said that in my Sonic for Tears 2 leaked video, I said that I wanted them to treat the series more, maybe like at times, at times, not all the time, because Sonic is still pointed towards kids. It's still directed towards kids. That's the target audience. I still want it at times to be directed towards adults at times. And this is exactly the way I want them to treat the series is in this style, in this and this tone and this emotional direction, the cinematic approach, everything about this. This is what I'm, I'm wanting to see a more serious and more devastating approach to its story. And Frontiers got to that. I feel like this animation is gonna give us exactly that. And that's what I wanna see. That's exactly what I wanna see in the series. And I, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me. And of course, people are gonna disagree with me. It's the Sonic fandom. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? It's the Sonic fandom. The music here. This music here reminds me of Spider-Verse, I swear. Can we get a movie in 
of just this, please? Can we get a movie of just this? This is- I, I just want- I just want a full motion picture of this, please. Alright, y'all, I don't have much time left to analyze, but there's a couple key things I missed out on when I was doing my live analysis. So let's go over a few scenes left over that I didn't go over in my live reaction, and then we'll end off the video there. So don't go away, there's still more key more details, because remember when I said that um, Emerald was possibly a playable character? Well, I think you all pretty much already know this, but earlier this week, the Sonic, like, Sonic X Shadow Generations website updated in Japan, and has this coming soon icon. And now at this point, with Emerald and Shadow fighting against each other, in this animation, I feel like that's possibly hinting towards Emerald being a playable character in Sonic X Shadow Generations. Or, I guess, Shadow Generations in this case. This is a bit far-fetched, but this is, has to mean that Emerald is the next playable character in Shadow Generations. But that's just a theory, though. But I'm guessing, at this point, it's all it's all points are leading towards that, right? It has to be Emerald. But let me know your guys' thoughts about Emerald's involvement in the Shadow Generations expansion. Because I would love to hear your thoughts down below. I, d I personally believe that this is a good chance of Emerald coming back to be a playable character after being so many years left unsaid and being only in the IDW comics. Honestly, let me know. And honestly, it makes sense because the Ian Flynn's doing the writing for this expansion. And it all checks out, right? <laughs> it pretty much all checks out. One thing I forgot to mention while I was doing my analysis is that there's this one quick flashback that we see when Maria grabs Shadow's hand, where we see this glip of, glimpse of possibly a gun soldier in the top left corner. Possibly, maybe Shadow, possibly getting that flash of what's going to happen in the future. I just think that was kind of something cool to point out real quick, because, brother... Bro, it's like Shulk from Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> yeah, all right. Kirk's Kirk's delivery originally I said in my stream was I said it was a little bit rough, but after listening to it, um, a few more times. Actually, I've listened. I've watched this animation over and over on loop like 50 times now, just to just to soak up and soak up all of the epic anime goodness that Gigamax Studio is doing right now because they are doing literally Sega's work. They're doing God's work right now. I swear, they are literally carrying so hard. We need a movie of this. Give me a movie of this. I just want a mini movie, whether it be 20 minute movie, 30 minute movie, short film. I don't care. I want something like this, like this 30 minutes long. Give me something that is juicy. I want a whole length motion picture of this. Please give it to me, Sega. Where's the Sonic animes? Anyways, sorry about venting about that. But anyways, Kirk's delivery here is actually the strongest it's ever been, in my opinion. Next to the Lego advertisement, which is crazy that the Lego advertisement was one of his strongest deliveries also. Kirk is actually finally improving as Shadow's voice actor, and I'm happy to see that. And while I was still want Jason Griffith to come back, even though that's probably never going to happen, Kirk is improving in the manner that I've been wanting to see for a very long time. And it's kind of in the way that Sonic's voice delivery had changed in Frontiers. So now I feel like Shadow's delivery is now finally changing like alongside Sonic with this new expansion of Shadow Generations. Stephanie's delivery as Maria also was a little bit skeptical at first, but again, listening to it again, it's gonna take some getting used to, because again, we haven't seen Maria in 19 years since Shadow 05. So in that case, you know, it's gonna sound a little bit different and a little bit weird. Again, she does sound a little bit too mincy. I guess I don't know what the I don't know what the word is. I don't know what the word is. I don't know what the right wording is for this. But I can see how people think that she sounds a little bit too older because she's technically 12 years old. I think we just need to give it a little bit of time to warm up to it. Um, but yeah, I do agree. She is a little bit. She sounds a little bit too old. A little bit. She because again, she's a 12 year old girl. But yeah, Stephanie is doing a good job. I think so far in terms of her voice, her voice direction and her um, performance as Maria. We'll see how the rest of it turns out when the full uh, animation releases. But only time will tell. But for right now, I'd say it's it's a decent performance from Maria, and I think that. Um, they're doing the best they can for a character that hasn't came back in 19 years. Again, she hasn't been voiced or even been seen in the series in 19 years. So I think we need, I think we just need to give it time for us to warm back up to it. Oh my gosh, the music here! Bro, I would not be surprised if this is not a full orchestra. Because if this is not a full orchestra, I would be shocked. This has to be a full orchestra, is it not? It has to be! This literally could be a full-on movie. All right, I'm telling you right now, if the Shadow spinoff is not on par with this, it probably won't be, knowing Paramount. <laughs> All I gotta say is, I am super duper stoked for this animation. And my final thoughts, like I emphasized in my, my live stream, this is all I've ever wanted from the Sonic series. Like, I've been wanting so long for some sort of, e like, whether it be an animation, a game with storytelling, or whatever, a, like a comic. 
I've been wanting the Sonic series to take this dark, devastating direction for so long, and the one character that's able to do that? Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog's dark past is now being realized in the way that I've been wanting to see for so long now, and we're finally getting that storytelling and narrative that me as a Sonic fan has been wanting to see for so long. We were close to that in Frontiers, but this, the dramatic and the cinematic like, direction and response, with with the animation here it's just it's just everything i've been wanting to see from shadow the hedgehog especially like it's just anything anywhere in the sonic series for so long and now combining elements from sonic battle into it and all these older elements with because of ian flynn's writing and his direction of writing like, I, 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 it's so good i'm stuttering on my words because this is so beautiful and this is why i've been wanting to see for so long as a fan so i at that point i got no words i have nothing else to say i have nothing else to say because i'm so excited for this because just looking at this leaves me with my jaw dropped my eyes open wide me actually watching this for the 50th time off camera i almost teared up off camera watching this again replaying it because just seeing the style of animation we haven't had like th these animations are continuing to evolve and are continuing to get better every single time we get another one of these from sega whether it be for a game or whether it be just for fun like with chow chow in space like i am so proud of how far the sonic series has come with its storytelling and its art direction and I cannot wait to see what else they have in store for us, especially for Sonic Movie 3. So that being said, I'm not going to make this video very long because I got to get out of here. I got stuff to do tonight. I wish I could watch this longer. I wish I could make a longer video about this, but I'll make a longer video about it in the following month. So what do you guys, I guess this month, I should say. So anyways, what do you guys think about this animation? Are you excited for the three episode release of Dark Beginnings? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. As always, thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you happen to want to see more Sonic and Nintendo content as well, make sure you subscribe as well with notifications. I'm trying to make videos more often as I can. Just life's being really busy right now, so stay tuned for more um, videos. I'll be doing some more streams though soon, so stay tuned for more streams if you want to check out those. And um, like if you happen to enjoy something out of this video. With that being said, I'm gonna dip for now. I'm gonna go keep watching this on loop probably for the rest of the night while I'm out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.